Ah, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. He's going straight under that damn boat, man. Need some more coffee. See if he has it in. Okay. There's a man right there. Whoa. Welcome to the next video, brother. Welcome, brother. <laughs> one, of you, one of your finest coffees, my friend. One of the finest coming right up, brother. Little flick like this. Oh, mate. It's like watching Tom Cruise and cocktail all over again. That's what we're drinking. Beautiful. All right. That mission's over. Give me one quick sip of this. Oh yeah, baby, that's the stuff. Um, yeah, I just finished editing another video and I said, I'm not gonna go fishing today. But you know, what can you do? All right, we're going back down to our sneaky little spot again in the mangroves, down on Botany Bay, somewhere, undisclosed. And um, I've been on the craziest garfish run I've had in a long time. So I'm just gonna keep pumping them until I've got a, a huge stockpile. And then once we got that, I can start focusing up down the coast everywhere. Um, mate, I've run out of work too. I just finished a little job not too long ago and did one other tiny one. And then it's done. There's no work with the bigger companies. I'm struggling. That's why you'll see my company advertisement at the start of the videos now. I've got to promote myself, mate. No one's going to do it for me. So if anyone wants some quality stonework traditional stonemason i can have all you need sorted doesn't matter if it's a small job to larger jobs we can sort you out anyway enough of the jobs we're here to fish all right i'm back at it again oh, cannot be stopped i think we're near close to the top of the tide but it should be dropping any second I'm going to be just heading through here, out to the boat. I'm nearly there. A little bit further. There's my baby. As pristine as the day I found her. We are nearly ready. I'm starting to sweat up after all that bailing of buckets. I think we're going to go to the same little island as yesterday. I've got a feeling that off the back end of that, um, the live bait's eventually going to go crazy because something's going to smash it. We put in enough time here. If we put in enough time here, this is uh, this is probably my Jurassic Park area for a local session for the monster of monsters of Taylor. We'll make it over there anyway, but you know. Gently, gently navigate out of here. Oh. Oh. Horrible freedom, yet again. <laughs> right, that's where we're going.
And the tide's going to be going out. We can park a bit closer. Good news as well. I found my bloody um, stash of small hooks for catching the live bait. So we've got tons of that. And I've got a couple of snell hooks. So I'm going to run a paternoster on one of the live bait rods with the sinker and depending on which way the wind's going is it funnily enough there's not much wind it's past lunchtime should always be blown down here but you never can pick it i might put a float out with a live bait on the side whichever the wind's behind us and um, see if that does the trick too we'll run a snell hook on that as well on every chance of hooking up to something this time if it decently grabs it defrost some of those guys. Oh yeah. Just let that uh, custom brick do its thing. And we'll have some bait in one second. Right. First rod rigged up. We'll just... Uh, Let's put out some of these um, delicious garfish. So there we go. It's not a massive bait. It's just going to be big enough for something to swallow and hopefully get itself with that circle hook. do it. We've got a float with a snell hook on here. Or something like that. Yeah. And we're going to go, it's a bit shaky, we're going to go out the back over here. up a little bit more it's sort of still pretty still I'll come in and I'll let some more line out and let it drift out even further right, let's get two small baits here and then um, we'll start trying to get some live garfish and we'll put them out you bait off the corner of the sandbar thank you donation to Poseidon bless us thing I like about this little island too is that I've got a, a good response time to all the rods. I can fish every single side. The last, um, last rod out. Set swans, stay out there. Last thing I want to be doing is hooking up to any of these guys. Stay out there, boys. It's all good. Oh my god, it's been so still, there's been no wind at all. First time I've actually been praying for wind. I had to float, just come back to shore, come straight back to shore before. Here we go, baby. First live gar. Let's get a cracking. Let's 
put this out on the snell. Let's see if anything takes it. Bloody hook. Yeah, baby. Yes. Right, we're going to start bringing the other live bait right over and flick out on the opposite side. There is a lot of bait out, but these other rods, they're doing nothing. So I've caught five gar so far, and three of them are in this bubbly-ass water. They're staying quite healthy. So I'll keep the oxygen cracking on them. Try and stock up, keep those bait reserves going hard. Chuck him out as a livey on one of these smaller setups. We've stuck the little gar out on one of the small rods, so I was saying you never know. A big buckethead flathead might come in and suck that thing up. Should I put another one? Another one out on the other rod. Let's do it. Great little bait. Tiny little morsel. Do a little bait check. Oh, I think we got maybe another six so far. Just showing them there. Oh, get that. Just top the uh, water up nice and fresh so I'll get some more uh, oxygen in there.
have a small live view, we know that's going straight back out. I think that live bait just fully got snatched up there. Oh. Yes. Hopefully this gets sucked right there. Maybe a little delicate. Check out again. I'm giving maximum uh, mobility. Small if there is. No. Look at that. That got annihilated. Get one more. feel massive but just sitting on the end of the line here. First catch of the day. Right, you can go back. And I've got another live bait ready to go for getting out of the water. Oh. Yeah. Let's get him out. Seems like the bite's been turning on a little bit more now. We've um, had three live baits snatched off the other little rod. The flatty, obviously, on this one. And um, we've been getting a few gars, so can't complain, baby. Something like that. Crazy. We're not shooting them out to the moon, we just want the edge of the drop off from these islands. Whatever's swimming around, hopefully it's in the perfect spot for them. We're back in the game, baby. Close, yet so far. Fine, it's going to be one for the little, the little live bait rod. Those so Taylor is smart. Look, I put a snell on the other one, don't want to touch it. Just going off. Smash it, mate. If you're going to smash it, just smash it. Let's just go for it. It's 
it's nearly time to go home. Pretty sure that was a crab. All right, this is our last little live view. We're going to stick out on this rod. Just about to pack up, baby, and we, we're on. was on a live garfish too. Big green. <laughs> what a guess. Oh, and he just came off in the shower. <laughs> oh man. It was a big brim. What do you want from me? All right, that's it for another little session. Then the sneaky spot. Um, I don't know how the weather's going to be tomorrow. If the weather's good, I'll come back and try and get another lot of um, gar fishing. We did all right. We didn't go crazy. But um, man, we just kept getting dusted off by fish today. They wouldn't take the big liveies. We're only taking the little ones. Crazy, bloody crab or something over there was hanging on, let go at the last minute. Pretty sure it could have been a mud crab, I'm not sure. Hard to say. Anyway, um, I'll show you these gar. This is how many gar we ended up with. One, two, three, four. Shit. So we ended up still with eight garfish, and that was after we used like six or seven as a live bait. So not too bad, good sizes. This is one I actually had out on the big live bait with a snail. Looks like a squid or something's taken a chomp out of the middle of him. Anyway, they make good cut bait. Damn, we're laughing. Very good. Unbelievable. I was just about to wind the second rod in here and the um, third rod's gone off and I wasn't going to lose this guy. <laughs> Try to wrap me around everything, man. Hey. Come on, I got it out. Oh, man. Just when you think it's over, it ain't over by any means. I don't know if you were the same brim I just lost before. It was probably around the same size. Look at that. Uh, this one's going to go home to the brother as well because uh, I promised him another fish. <sighs> Finally come through on the very end. Uh, we've got to get out of here. It's getting dark. See you on the next one.